everyone, so today I have a hamster and gerbil haul for you. So I went to a few local shops and I picked up a few things for the pets. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'm just going to start off with what I got from Pets at Home. So the first thing that I picked up was a bag of the Burgess Super Hamster Dwarf Hamster Harvest. So my dwarf hamsters are currently fed on this and they really, really like it because it's small seeds. So it means that it's easier for them to eat rather than before where they were on Harry Hamster and they was leaving quite a lot of food. With this they're eating almost everything which is brilliant because I'm not wasting as much food anymore. So I just picked up another bag for the hamsters and this was £3. So the next thing I picked up was just the Pets at Home wooden seesaw. Now I was going to get one on the internet but then I thought it's probably just easier getting one from Pets at Home because I'm not ordering anything from the internet for a while. So I just went ahead and bought this and I'm not sure if I'm going to give it to Humbug or the Gerbils but I'm sure whichever one I give it to they will really like it. So this was also £3. And then I also got this wooden cheese block. Now I'm thinking this will be really really good for the gerbils because it will take them a long time to chew through this and it's got little holes which they can go through. So this will be a really good toy for them and hopefully it will last them quite a while. And again this was also £3. And then last of all from Pets at Home I bought this large gerbilarium. So this is actually for Bubble and Squeak and they have been in this for a few days but I thought that I'd just include this in the haul anyway. So as you can see it has a really deep base and a wire top so it is brilliant for gerbils because they like to dig so you can give them a lot of bedding. So with this cage you got a few free things. So the first thing you get is some Savic tubes, you get a free sample pack of Pets at Home muesli, a packet of bedding and then a packet of wood shavings as well. So this cage cost £70. So moving on to what I bought from the range, the first thing I picked up was this Just For Pets food ball. So this is actually going to be for the gerbils and I'm going to put like forage and a little bit of hay and hide some treats in there for them. Just so that it will keep them entertained and also it's metal meaning that they can't chew through it. So I thought this would be really good for them and this was £1.99. So the next thing I picked up was just two of the Boredom Breaker Chew Tubes. So I have a ton of these already but I'm going through them pretty quickly with the gerbils and also Humbug started shredding these pretty quickly as well. So I thought that I'd just go ahead and pick up a couple more. So these are the small size ones and these were 50p each. So the next thing I picked up was just a bag of the Supreme Original Harry Hamster Complete Muesli. So this is for Humbug and she really really enjoys this food so I didn't really want to move her on to the Burgess food when I know she really likes this. So I went ahead and bought a bag of this for her because of she's running a little bit low at the moment. So this is just the 700 gram bag and this was £1.89. So the last thing I picked up was just the Supreme Original Jerry Gerbil Complete Muesli. So obviously this is going to be for Bubble and Squeak and at the moment they're currently fed on pets at home food which is what they were fed on in the store and I don't really like feeding animals pets at home food because I think it's just full of sugar and it's just not a very good food and they generally lack in protein, fat and fibre levels whereas Supreme Foods, they generally have the protein, fat and fibre levels spot on with hamsters and gerbils. So I'd rather feed the boys on a diet which I know that has the correct levels. And then with Jerry Gerbil, I'm just going to add a few mealworms and things in just like I do with the hamsters. So this is the 850 gram bag and this was £2.27. So next, moving on to what I bought from Wilco's, the first thing I picked up was this hamster house for hamsters and mice and basically it's just like a house and you can clip the top bit onto the bottom so it kind of like comes in two parts and I thought this would be really really good for Munchkin because she loves to hide and she doesn't really have that many hiding places at the moment so I thought this would be really good for her and it's also a really good size for her because she can either hide in the top compartment or the bottom compartment and I've been wanting one of these for a while but I've never really picked one up before so I had a bit of spare money so I thought that I'd just go ahead and pick one up and see what Munchkin thinks of it so this was £3.50 so the next thing I picked up was just the Nor Garland for small animals and it is the boy one so it's the rugby balls and the footballs one. Now I already have the um, love hearts and flowers one for humbug but I thought that I'd go ahead and buy this for the gerbils because I think it would be 
a nice little decoration in the cage and also it'll be a great chew toy for them because the gerbils are chewing everything like crazy at the moment so this was £3 which I thought was a really good price because I've seen similar things to this in pets at home for four or five pounds so I just went ahead and bought this for the gerbils so the next thing I picked up was also for the gerbils and it is just the Wilco climbing gym for rodents so I currently have one of these for humbug and she absolutely loves it so I thought that I'd go ahead and buy one for the boys as well so this was five pound which I thought was really cheap because I've seen these in pets at home for the exact same thing for a tenner which I would not pay for a toy like this so I just decided to go ahead and get the cheaper version from Wilco because it's just exactly the same thing. So it has a bunch of toys attached to it so it's got like wood chews and little rope toys and things which would be really good for the gerbils to chew and then it also has some chains which you can attach it to the cage with. So the next thing I picked up is just a stainless steel coop cup with hook holder so this is actually going to be for the boys for their treats. So they have one of these which came with their cage and I really really liked it because you can hook it onto the bars and it saves floor space so you don't have to worry about finding a place to put their ball. So I really liked the idea of that and I went ahead and bought another one for them. So this is approximately 250 mils, and it's actually bigger than the one which they have in their cage so I'm probably going to use this one for their food and the other one for their treats. So this was super cheap at £1.60. So the last thing I picked up isn't anything very exciting, it's just a packet of six toilet rolls and the reason I got this is because of I'm in desperate need of pet bedding because I only have a tiny little bag left and Wilkinson's haven't been stocking their small animal bedding for about a month and I'm really disappointed because I really really like the bedding which they sell and I can't seem to find it anywhere else so I just decided to go ahead and buy some toilet paper and then I can rip it up and put it in their beds because toilet paper is perfectly safe for small animals and also with humbug and the gerbils I'm just going to go ahead and put a roll in their cages and they can destroy it and shred it and basically do whatever they want with it so that was 95p. So the next thing I picked up was just two of the Wilco Playballs for hamsters. Now, I'm probably going to get criticised for using Playballs with hamsters, but personally, I find that they are really great just when I'm spot cleaning the cages and I need to take the hamsters out for a few minutes. So it, rather than having to set up a full playpen, I can just pop them in there and let them have a little run around. And I've always used hamster balls and I've been owning hamsters for about 10 years and I've never really seen a big issue with them and the balls I have now are currently looking very tacky and very old so I thought that I'd just go ahead and buy a couple of new ones just to refresh them because I feel that after a few years where they've been chewed and start to lose their colour and things that they do need replacing so I just went ahead and bought two of these and I actually really like the design of these because they only have one lid meaning that the hamsters can't try and chew out the other lid so with the lids they tend to get chewed quite a lot and they tend to fall off sometimes and I really like the fact that these only have one lid so it means that there's less chance of an escape. So these were £3.25 each which I thought was a really good price. And last of all I went to Pound World and the first thing I picked up was a packet of the Fruit Factory Lunchbox Mini Snacks and the pets have had these before and they really really seem to like them and I've not been able to find them in such a long time and I saw them today and I had to pick up a packet so all it is is just little dried pieces of fruit so they're mini boxes and you get 12 in a packet and within that you get a box of raisins and sultanas and you get sultanas and apples and then raisins and apricots and the pets really really like these and it's also a nice little healthy treat for them compared to some of the treats which they've been having lately so I thought that I'd just get some of these for them and obviously those were a pound. So the next thing I picked up was just a bag of Natural Meadow Hay by the Pet Lover's Choice and I've used this brand of hay before and it's actually really good and the pets seem to really like it so I thought that I'd go ahead and pick some more up because the gerbils currently don't have that much hay in their cage and hay really helps to keep gerbils tunnels together and they also really like to sleep in that as well. So I went ahead and just bought a small bag of this and this was a pound. And the last thing I picked up isn't very exciting but I thought that it would be brilliant for when I'm cleaning the cages out and it will also save me a lot of time. So all it is is basically a soap dispensing brush and all you do is you can untwist the top cap here and then you can put pet safe disinfectant or washing up liquid or 
whatever it is you want to use to clean the cages with and then basically it goes down this tube here and releases itself into the sponge and basically as you're cleaning it just kind of dispenses itself and it has a nice sort of rough scrubbing pad on the bottom as well which means that it will get rid of any pee stains which may be in your cages and I thought this would be really really good for the cages because I'm currently using spray and baby wipes and having to have a bunch of different sponges and things and I thought that this would just be so much easier and it will also save me a lot of time as well because I won't have to constantly search to try and find the things which I need to clean the cages with so this is going to be so handy and this was also a pound so here is just a quick overview of everything which I've bought for the hamsters and the gerbils so that is just my haul video and thank you so much for watching guys and as always if you have any questions please feel free to comment and I'll try to do my best to answer them for you guys and as always thank you so much for the support and please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Bye!